It's not surprising. Um, the, I don't think that uh, things are under control enough that uh, they can start lifting restrictions. The extension of Manitoba's lockdown wasn't the news businesses were looking for, but some remained hopeful for a little bit of wiggle room. We're you know, slowly bleeding. We're doing our best to try and get through, but every month you look at the bank account and it's lower than it was the month before. Thomas Johnson, general manager of Peasant Cookery, has 80% of his staff laid off, and this season made 10% of what they brought in during last holiday season. His business is hurting, and he'd like to be able to serve guests indoors soon. They mentioned in the in the um, the announcements there that there was over there was close to two thousand con contacts over the holidays. Um, they, those are the reasons why this is taking so long. Johnson says he never thought they'd reopen on the eighth, but was hoping for at least a small amendment or ease on restrictions to serve a small amount of people at his restaurant. The average period for someone to show symptoms of COVID-19, according to the Government of Canada's website, is 11 and a half days. Because of this, Marquis Dance Academy's Angel Laverne figured January 8th would never stand as the end of lockdown. January 8th was only one week after New Year's Day, so I knew that that would probably play a big factor of, you know, is that really enough time? Laverne says despite not thinking lockdown would end, she was also hoping for a small change to allow private one-on-one -on -one lessons to quench the thirst of her dancers who are receiving lessons via Zoom. Everybody's trying the best and making the best decisions, but yeah, I just want some give, a little bit of give. City News hit the streets to find out how Manitobans feel about the extended restrictions. Here's what they had to say. I think it's right. It's hard for me, but at the end, when I think that, they, that this is for my health, I think I can tolerate on it. We have done a good job uh, with controlling the numbers, so they should at least uh, return all the essentials to buying. I have concerns about people's mental health and just the long-term and short-term impacts there. I think social interaction is the most healthy thing that a person could do and I think that's a really important part of our day-to-day -day lives. So just try and add some more social, social yeah. interaction again? Yeah. The new restrictions are set to expire on January 22nd. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.